Kentucky law had finally gone across the, the border and into West Virginia and was arresting the Hatfields, who had been in trouble for a long time, and this infuriated them. They had never really been challenged to this extent before. So on New Year's Eve, they have a big party, and a bunch of them get drunk, and they decide, we're not going to stand for this anymore. We're just going to ride over into Kentucky, and we're going to destroy Randolph McCoy. And so they surround his cabin late at night on the near midnight there of 1887, 1888. And in those early morning hours, they burned down his cabin. Now, from that point forward, the press across the country uh, gets on the side of the McCoys and starts screaming for justice. And things move quickly to uh, bring the feud to an end. And that propelled our story of what was going on here in the Hatfield McCoy feud into a national audience. And it paints us with this hillbilly image that we sometimes still suffer from today.